In this episode, we're back to Guysboro County once again. This particular site we weren't going to make into an episode, because as you'll see, there wasn't really the underground access we had hoped for. However, the site is so awesome that we thought we'd show it to you. What I'm speaking of, of course, is the Cochrane Hill Gold Mine. This spot's only a kilometer or two away from the Crow's Nest Gold Mine, which you'll see in previous episodes. But due to the layout of the site, it made for a great opportunity to get the drone up in the air. You'll find this episode is quite drony. So, let's get to the footage we took that day, get on the ground, get that drone up in the air, and let's show you this place, the Cochrane Hill Gold Mine. Let's go. Okay, we are here at uh, Cochrane Hill Gold Mine. Currently a property of uh, Atlantic Gold Corporation. There is a gate on the, uh, the old mine road that heads in. And we are right by the, uh, the main road here. I believe that's the number seven. I'm not absolutely sure. <laughs> uh, heading to Sherbrooke. There is a tr uh, an old uh, decline here that we're going to see. And some old pits and so on that are here. Um, Atlantic Gold Corporation um, is kind of doing some drill core samples here throughout the forest, which we'll show you. And we'll also get the drone up in this episode and let you see it from the air because it's pretty, pretty cool. And then we're going to take a look uh, in the water and stuff at the, at the decline and see if we can uh, see how far it goes and, uh, and maybe even what it's like under the water. We brought some underwater stuff. All right, if you look around here, uh, we believe it was Atlantic Gold Corporation that did this, but there's, uh, there's little blue flags throughout all these clear cuts. They did a lot of uh, drill core work around here to, uh, to see what's down below. Because this was a former mine area, as you'll see, the, the opening that we're going to was an original mine that was here. But uh, I guess the rumor is on the street and from some of their press releases and stuff, the plan is they're looking for investors to actually reopen this mine, like we're talking, you know, dewatering and heck, they might even strip mine this, who knows, but uh, yeah, they're all through the fields here, maybe uh, 50 feet apart. So we'll continue up with the boys, the, uh, the old decline from the old original Cochrane Hill gold mine is up here. So here is the old original mine, and we're approaching the, uh, the decline that goes into the uh, rock face down there uh, to the right. You can see a hint of it there beyond the orange fence. We'll get down there. So there it is, the old original decline, which is uh, similar to an adit, if you can imagine, uh, but it's like a downhill slope to it. Sometimes it's even called a slope um, or an incline shaft that goes down into the, uh, the workings that are under the ground here. It is barred and uh, as far as we can tell from the vision we had when we scouted the site, the water does eventually go to the ceiling back in there, but we just can't see how far. So we're gonna investigate that today. Here's the old rebar covering that covers it, rusted to shit and uh, very dilapidated. But the water there is uh, quite deep. Uh, just beyond the bars there, it probably submerges, I'd say, six to ten feet of depth in the water there. If this was going to be revived in any fashion, of course, this old mine would have to be completely dewatered, uh, obviously. That would be necessary in order to revive this anyway, unless they're going to uh, dig anew here at Cochrane Hill with these new alleged gold prospects.
So here's up top of the pit. So whatever uh, Atlantic Gold or whoever had going on here, whatever they had going on, um, got a bunch of hay bales over here. No activity, doesn't look like anything's happened here in years. Just stuff kind of rotting away. Old pallets and shit. And of course, so you are warned so you don't fall off the edge of this uh, cliff face, um, being up here at the top of the workings. They have the, uh, the bright orange DNR signs posted around. There we go. Okay, we're out here on the, uh, on the grate, as you can see, and we're gonna get some shots in here. Just to explain, we, bought, we, brought, yeah, we brought some dinghy boats to inflate and go in here and uh, float around, do some boating inside the decline to see how far in it goes. We can kind of see today where it does go. We're gonna uh, turn up the iris here. Okay, here's what the iris opened up. So as this tunnel goes in, it uh, slightly goes downhill by a few degrees, so eventually that water that's level, of course, reaches the ceiling way back there, probably 60, 70 feet into the distance. We're lighting it here best we can. We gave up on the dinghy boats because I wanted to do a money shot of floating out there to the back and uh, putting the light, our underwater lights under the water and doing a look down the decline underwater with the camera in an underwater case. Yes, submarine photography, basically. But anyway, the water here is so sucky, it's murky. It's got a, a milkiness to it because half of it does hang outdoors here and it's turned to a swamp. So basically, we're nixing the idea of doing the, uh, the boating. So no inflatable rafts in here today. It would have been great, but uh, just not feasible. So great abandoned mine site, um, but limited, uh, unfortunately. So that's it for this one. We're gonna head head home. Unfortunately, some some expeditions are brief, sh much shorter than others. But uh, again, great site, great old abandoned classic mine that might actually see another uh, another heyday if anything becomes of all these uh, drill holes and uh, if investors can be found and if uh, the gold rush starts back up again here on Cochrane Hill. See you next time. Bye-bye.